I have been conveyed the decision of Congress President, Honorable Congress President, on the CLP issue of Chief Minister issue of Karnataka. Congress President decided Sidharamaya ji as the Chief Minister and D.K. Shikumar as the Deputy Chief Minister. D.K. Shikumar will, will continue as a PCC President till the Parliament election over. This is what, of course, our main mudda is, our first priority is to implement our five guarantee. That will be discussed and finalized in the first cabinet itself. This is the promise given by um, Rahul Gandhi, Congress President, Madam Sonia Gandhi, everybody. So we will fulfill that. And sir, another important thing, will you be also inviting the like-minded parties because so many other leaders... Certainly, certainly. We will, we will invite our like-minded party people to be the part of the swearing in ceremony. We are very much happy to invite them. And sir, uh, are you, are you confident that other people also, the other leaders also of the Karnataka will be, will be, will be obeying this, will, will be happy with this? Every congressman, including leader and karyakarta, will be happy of this. Last question is for you, sir. You uh, see, our, I told that our party is the party who believe in consensus, not in dictatorship. Of course, we took one more day. <laughs> Media take it as a big thing. Whenever BJP formed a government after 18 years, 18 days, no issue. Tripura, UP, there is no issue. But Congress party took one or two days. It became a bigger issue in the media. Anyway, thanks to the media also, now we solved amicably, very peacefully. We settled the entire issue. We will go together unitedly. Now, Sidramaya and Shiv Kumar is flying in the same flight to Bangalore. Okay. What do you think the major role for the victory in Karnataka, what is the impact of the Karnataka victory? No, what we, we, what we fought this fight. We, we started our election campaign one year before itself. It's a beautiful, one of the beautiful campaign which we have done in Karnataka. We have given five guarantees which actually reached the people of Karnataka, especially the poor people of Karnataka, which had an impact. And our leaders, our Congress president stayed one month completely in Karnataka. One completely in Karnataka, stayed, campaigned, oversee, advise us how to move forward. And you, I told you that the Bharat Jodo Yatra actually as a trigger for this victory. 22 days walking along Karnataka made a history. The were Congress workers become electrified after Bharat Jodo Yatra. The were Rahul Ji also campaigned very much, Priyanka Ji campaigned very much. We are sincerely, no words to thank Madam Sonia Gandhi also. She came along away from, from Delhi to Bija of this uh, Ghubli and attended public meetings, stayed there one day and advised us. Our season. We know that every day she is asking us what is the progress, what is the strategy. Every day she is also monitoring this election. There were all these things at a matter of victory. Last question is to you. Your party also pays that it is a defeat of Prime Minister in Karnataka. Why, 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 why the Congress party think like that? This Congress party was very much particular. This election should be state-centric. Because this is a state election. You know, this is not a national election. But the day one onwards, our Prime Minister made it as a national election. He told this is not election for Karnataka. You see me. You vote for me. And their leaders told, don't vote for Bombay, don't vote for Yadiyurappa, vote for Modi. And he called Congress party as a terrorist supporter party. He made an issue which Sonia ji never mentioned. Now you, you know, you, you, are, you, got, you get, got that video. The entire speech you can witness. He never told about the governance of Karnataka government. He never told about the development of the Karnataka government. He only told about the national divisive politics of BJP. Therefore, he made it as a national election. After that, finally, he, when we lose the election, oh, then it will become a state election, not national election. This is very shameless, shameful. It, it, will, it will have impact on 2024, sir? 2024 election? Because uh, I, I think, I think the 2024 is the parliament election. But Karnataka given us great energy to fight against Modi in 2024. नमस्कार मैं हूं मानक गुप्ता अगर आपको हमारा ये वीडियो पसंद आया हो तो इसे लाइक और शेयर जरूर करें और हां हमें सब्सक्राइब और फॉलो करना ना भूलें
ताकि आप देश और दुनिया की कोई खबर मिस ना करें तो जुड़े रहिए हमारे साथ और देखते रहिए न्यूज ट्वेंटी